Hi guys, it's Just Some Honest Fiction and welcome back to my channel. So today is the first official day of summer break. For those of you who don't know, I work in education and this year has been really rough. So I am going to reward myself and buy some books. So I wanna go to three different locations. The first one is this indie bookstore in Princeton. The second one is just a Barnes & Noble by my house. And then I heard Target has had a pretty good selection. So I think we're gonna go there last. And then I'll do like a small little book haul and talk about all the books I purchased. And yeah, so come along with me and let's go book shopping. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so new, somewhere I can find myself. Alright, starting off at Labyrinth Bookstore. I love this bookstore, it's huge, very much like a labyrinth, it's like a maze. So first up I went to the YA section. I'm not sure why Akatar was here, it didn't used to be, uh, definitely not YA. And then they just had a lot of new releases that I hadn't seen. I saw this gothic book, it looked really cool, Ecstasia. Then they had this whole pride area set up for June, I love that. And then just a bunch of new releases in fiction. And then after I left, I did get a couple books. I decided to stop by like the Princeton grounds. It's just this beautiful historic area, a lot of historical buildings with like ivy going up and it's just really, really pretty. So I try to go there to read at least once a week. And next up we have Barnes and Noble. So I was really impressed. My Barnes and Noble really stepped up when it comes to romance. So first up, these are just like new releases and then straight to the romance section. And I was really impressed. So they had the Zodiac Academy, they had Wicked Beauty, which is the new Katie Robert book, um, a few Laura Thalassa books. Stay With Me, I did not know they sold that at Barnes & Noble. I wish they had the other two books because I still need them. If you have not read Stay With Me, please do it. It is so good. It's one of my new favorite series. I'm actually looking for the Crossfire series here and they didn't have it. And also the new Katie Robert book I was looking for. But I did see the Confidence of Wildflowers, didn't know they were selling that at Barnes & Noble, super impressed. And I've heard good things about this, let me know if you've read it. Also Dating Dr. Dill, I've seen a lot of people talk about, so very curious about that one. All right, moving on, The Lady for a Duke. I think that was in the wrong section, but I am very curious. I think it's like a new historical romance that a lot of people have been loving. And then a priest cartoon romance. So I've never seen a cartoon cover priest romance. Very curious. And Weather Girl has also supposed been really, really good. I have so many books on my TBR. And this beautiful Bridgerton area. And of course, I had to stop at the book talk table. I've read most of the books on here. Um, some of them I don't see on book talk very often. And a lot of these are like older releases. And then Where the Crawdad Sings. I love that book. I read it a few years ago. I cannot wait to see the movie. And I'm also very interested in The Summer I Turned Pretty, that show on Hulu. It looks really good. I've only watched the trailer, but Love Triangle, perfect. And they have spicy reads now. Like a whole section. I was very surprised. It's mostly just like Laura Thalassa. And I haven't heard anything about this Bridget Kemmerer book. She's really a hit or miss author for me. And Something Wilder was probably the biggest disappointment so far this year. I wanted to love this book and I didn't. And I didn't realize Fifty Shades of Grey came in hardback. All right, so next up I went to Target. Now, I was posting Instagram stories while I was here, 
and I kept saying like there's no books here and someone reminded me they just had their two for one sale. So that is probably why these bookshelves look like super barren. Um, I came at a really bad time. <laughs> And I just thought this was funny. We have nonfiction bestsellers, but also book talk books. So I'm not really sure how they decided to mix those, but um, they had a lot of Colleen Hoover, some Elle Kennedy. I think had it not been right after the sale, they probably would have had a pretty good selection. But yeah, they just, they were missing a lot of books. All right guys, so I am back from book shopping. I actually was able to go to all three stores. Target was a bit of a fail, but that's okay. So the first store I went to was Labyrinth Books, and that's right on Nassau Street in Princeton. I love that bookstore. So I ended up getting two books from there. The first one is, these are not in order. Okay, the first one is Ecstasia. So this is by Claire Legrand. I know nothing about this book. This was in the pride section, so I do think it is sapphic, but it's following this girl and I think she's selected to become like one of the heads of this like witchy coven. When I was reading the plot, it sounded very similar to Year of the Witching, which I did really enjoy. So I do plan on reading this probably around October, sometime in the fall, but it sounds really good. And then the other book I got from that location was The Mermaid, The Witch, and the Sea. The cover of this book is so pretty. I love it. So this one, I also don't know very much about. Um, it was on my radar a while ago. I never ended up picking it up but I believe it's following this girl that's like being captive on this, some sort of boat vessel type thing. And then she ends up being in arranged marriage, but she falls for someone else. And it just seems like a really fun nautical YA story. So I do want to read Namesake, the second book in the Fable duology, and then Daughter of the Pirate King and then this book in like a reading vlog towards the end of summer. So that should be really fun. And then after that, I went to Barnes and Noble. I was actually trying to get either the Crossfire series or the Katie Robert Dragon book. I don't know why I thought they would have it, but obviously they did not. I will say Barnes & Noble by me is actually really stepping up their game when it comes to romance. They had a decent amount of indie published books and they just had like a pretty good selection. It worked out, so I'm very happy about that. But anyway, so I got two books from Barnes & Noble. The first one is Wicked Beauty and this is by Katie Robert. So this is the third book in the Dark Olympus series. I believe this is like menage a trois type thing. So we're following Achilles, Patroclus, and maybe Helen of Troy, I didn't check. Pretty sure that's the woman in this. And this is getting like very mixed reviews. So I loved Neon Gods, so good. I didn't like Electric Idol. I'm really hoping I enjoy this. I'm gonna continue with the series either way. I just, I really enjoy Katie Roberts writing. So then I also ended up getting The Summer I Turn Pretty. So I saw the Hulu trailer. Um, Hulu's making this into a show. I think it's already out. And it looked really cute and it has a love triangle and I love that trope. So I wanted to give this a try. I might read this and compare it to the show. I am sure a ton of booktubers are already doing that, so I might not. But still, this was on sale, so figured I'd try it out. So yeah, those are all the books I got. I will be filming a pretty big book haul um, probably next week. So that should be out the following Sunday, just because I feel like the last few weeks I've purchased a lot of books. But anyway, thank you for coming book shopping with me. And I said this already, I post new videos every Thursday and Sunday. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. I will see you all next week. Bye.